Yeah, oh, mate. G'day, how you going? Sam from um, Sam from Seraphim Wines here in the USA. None other. Raquel from Rick. Labyrinth. Thank you. In Tentara. Okay, um, we'll just tapping the barrel. Um, I'm pouring a sample of the Tresninos Zinfandel. 2017. So, production quantity? Uh, we'll get about two tons of fruit from this vineyard, so it's approximately 120 cases. Nice. Uh, the, big, the big plus for me on this vineyard is the fact that it doesn't make uh, Zinfandels that are typically fat and sweet. It's a very dry style, uh, very much a dry ridge style Zinfandel with a lot of spice. Um, it's in an area east of Aurora Grande. If you go to Lake Lopez and then drive maybe another 20 minutes further east, it gets a lot hotter. But it's great for Zinfandel. So, and actually, the vineyard itself is actually full of old whalebone uh, you know, fossils. Really interesting uh, spot for, um, for a really warm climate uh, Zinfandel. And oddly enough, another, another good friend of mine, Greg Lynn, used to source for, uh, for the same Zinfandel for his um, Bruno Zito label back in the day. Did you say Bruno Zito or Uncle Zito? <laughs> Zito, Zito Family Wines. Zito Family Wines. Greg Lynn, here in Colton. Beautiful dry style. Fresh, fresh fruit, uh, not over top fruit, not jammy, plummy, or cordy like you get with the normal things. Yeah, we opened a, um, a 15. Bottle bit, bottle bit of wine with this last night. And it's, this is actually slight, showing a little more um, fruit weight than the uh, 15. The 15 is definitely more austere, a little drier. I'm really lucky the backs and more and the fruit weight of this. Um, probably more the more the where I, where I want this one to be. And that might be just um, in fact this is my sick. This is the third vintage of Zimba now. I'm kind of dialing it into where it's pretty where it's a good balance between dryness but also fruit weight. But also aromatics are killer. Yeah. I like the aromatics on this. Thing to the ones last time. Mm-hmm. Just, just a bit more freshness and a bit more of that sort of purple flower. Uh, just, just pretty just pretty aromatics that uh, yep. you just don't need to associate with the uh, thing. Exactly. Anyway, well that will conclude uh, this uh, portion of the uh, tour. Yeah, this is called work. Yeah, this is work. This is uh, uh, Richard, if you see this, this is work. <laughs> right, <laughs> guys. Have a coffee. Have a triple <laughs> shot. <laughs> two, two, two shot latte. Two shot latte and a wine glass. The straw. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Be tuned in for the next one because there's going to be a heap of these over the next uh, two weeks. So uh, there'll be Rick, there'll be his wife, Lane, there'll be Kevin Law. Kevin Law next door. There'll be plenty of these unbelievable American winemakers that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. So uh, be sure to keep uh, keep uh, keep watching. Catch you later, guys. Cheers.